In this video, you will learn how to create an economy discord bot from scratch with the all new discord slash commands. We will go over the creation of many features like a daily command, coin flips, a global leaderboard, and much more. If you have any suggestions for new features that you would want me to make a video about, feel free to comment down below. This video will be more of an initial setup video. We can't get into the coding until we have everything we need set up. I don't want to waste any more of your time, so let's get started. To start, you're going to need a place to write your code. For this tutorial, I'll be using VS Code and I recommend the same to you. Just go to Google and type in VS Code and you should see code.visualstudio.com. Go there and you can download the correct version for yourself and also make sure you get the stable version. Um, that's just going to be what you want. If you're a beginner, that's definitely what you want. And VS Code is also good because it has extensions that will make your life a whole lot easier. So you can even get an extension that auto formats your code just so everything looks nice and pretty and you don't get confused with what you write. So once you download this, you can open it up here. Once you open up Visual Studio Code, it should look something like this. You might have a little get started screen, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. Just go to this left button that says open folder. It's a big blue button, easy to see. Click that and then you can pick anywhere on your computer where you wanna host your bot's code. So for example, I'm just gonna create a folder here in the directory for my storage and I'm just gonna call this Discord bot. Now you can call this whatever you want. If you want to name your bot right now, that's fine. And it doesn't really matter because this is just a folder name. Once you open that up, you might get this. Do you trust the authors of the files in this folder? I'm just going to say yes, because I'm the author of this folder. All right. Once you got your folder open, you should see your folder name up here at the top left corner. It's literally just an empty folder. And that's actually exactly what you want. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back to Google here and we're going to go search up node and that's all you want to type in. And you should see the first link that's node.js.org. Go there and you're going to want to download the correct version of node. I would just get the recommended for most users. You don't need the current one. Um, if you're a beginner, this is definitely what you want um, and just get the correct version for your your system. So for me, it's going to be windows right here. Just click this button and download it. I already have it downloaded, but all you got to do is download it, follow the instructions and you should be good to go. All right, guys, now that you have your folder open and you have node downloaded, we can now go up to terminal and click new terminal. So here we are new terminal. And once again, it's up here in terminal, new terminal. All right. Once you have this, this is going to be your terminal for your project. And it's very easy to use. And that's, what's really good about VS code is that it has a built in terminal. What you want to go right here is type in npm init. It's actually really important that you guys do this step because without it, you're not going to be able to use any of the other packages that are required to make a discord bot. So for this, it's going to probably prompt you with package name. You can just hit enter for all of them because they don't matter. That's what I do. And, um, Let's, let's clear the console, just type clear and it will be gone. Once you guys do the npm init command, you will see that a package.json magically appears right here. So it's going to just have information about your software so far. And this is kind of all irrelevant. Um, we will be talking about the main later, but for now you'll see this is where the dependencies get downloaded. So to start, we're going to have to get the first crucial dependency for our package is we're going to actually have to get the library from discord themselves. So we're going to do NPM install. So this is the command that you're going to do to install any, any dependency that you want. And you can write NPM install discord dot js and you'll just see it starts doing its thing starts getting information starts downloading packages and it looks like it worked and we got 32 packages so as you can see in our dependencies now we have discord js and then it has the version number that we have which is the latest version so then after this that's actually all we need to get started However, if you guys also read the documentation for discord, they actually do suggest you get something else. So what you could type is npm install. And so this is how you do a dev dependency. You could do dash dash save dash dev and then es lint is what it's called. And just do that command. There we go. And now that's called a dev dependency. So this is just a dependency for the developer writing it, not really needed for the actual bot to work, but it's just going to make it easier for you to read and write your code here. And also you'll see that node modules and package lock 
JSON both have created. You need both these. These are very crucial to how Node works. You don't need to touch them at all. So just leave them there, never touch them. The only thing you can touch is package.json, but for now, I think that's all we need. And I'm gonna actually end the video here for part one, and we're gonna get to start registering the bot in the next video. So this is the initial setup video. If you guys enjoyed it, please drop a like and a comment on this video and look out for the next part. It should be already up right now. And that's where we're gonna register the bot on the Discord website and then um, hopefully get our bot into an actual Discord channel. Let's actually have it say something in the Discord channel. All right, that's coming up next.